Hey guys, it's Ian Lives. Now, today is another haul video, which I know I'm doing these a lot lately, but I like doing them. They're easy to make. So I went to this today where I live in Lansing, Michigan. It was this toy comics records um, flea market type thing. They had a bunch of stuff there. We're going to be going through that too. I'm going to start off with the convention stuff it was more like a flea market than a convention there was no celebrities there there was no autographing it was just booths full of um nerdy stuff that i'm into um a lot of horror stuff and that's pretty much all i bought so i'm going to be going through that stuff and then i'm going to be going through the stuff i got from the other store starting off with dvds um just because I like talking about these. I got four DVDs at this at this place. Um, at the flea market type thing. Now they were, again, a bunch of booths. Um, and there's probably five or six booths that were just full of horror DVDs. Like, just horror. There were booths that had a wide variety. Blu-ray, too. Um, there was actually a booth that had a bunch of boutique horror on Blu-rays, but a little pricey for my liking. But I did find some DVDs that I liked. Um, one of the booths, this guy was very nice. We started talking about horror movies, and I ended up finding this one, and he took a couple bucks off. That's also the nice thing about going to something like this, is that you can get to know the people, and they can take some prices off. I got the Tom Savini remake of Night of the Living Dead. This is a Columbia Pictures release. And I've never seen this out in the wild. I think there is a Blu-ray release. I could be wrong. I think there is. Um, but I did want to own this because if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know, I prefer this to the original. I think the original is just okay. I understand um, the impact that it had on the genre. But I like the re remake way more. Tom Zavini... I love him. He does great practical effects and he's great at directing here. So yeah, I'm really glad to own this. Um, so yeah, I was happy to get that. This was at a different booth. I got two from this one booth. Um, there, It was this girl that was there. She had a big, she had a couple boxes of just horror DVDs. Um, older horror DVDs like... Um, old Anchor Bay stuff, like that kind of era. Um, most of the DVDs were pretty pricey. There was a Halloween 5 one that I wanted, but they, but she wanted 20 for it. But the ones I got were 10 a piece, which is still pricey for a DVD for, for me. Um, I think it's because I like, I like to shop at pawn shops and used stores all the time, so I get DVDs cheap. Um, usually, if a DVD's past five bucks, I'm hesitant on it. But I did want to own Halloween, eventually. The original, I don't own on any format. I was, I almost got the Scream Factory 4K. But this, I, st I still might. But this is a really cool release. This is the Anchor Bay DVD. Um, that has this really cool holographic design on the slipcover. It came with the slipcover too, and it's in great condition. Um, the disc was spotless. I've checked all the discs. Um... This is just a really cool release to have. So I'm glad to finally own Halloween on a format. The original Halloween. I own 2 and 3 on DVD. Um, I don't own any on Blu-ray yet. I do want to change that. And she said that she would take a couple bucks off if I bought two. So I found another one. And that is the MGM DVD release for Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Another um, movie that I don't own on any format. I have the original on a Blu-ray steelbook. Um, I almost got the vinegar syndrome, but it's kind of pricey, dude. It's pricey. One day I'll probably just get the Blu-ray. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty simple release. You guys are going to have to let me know, um, how good the, the picture is, how good the quality is. I know some of these old horror DVDs can be, um, pretty unwatchable at times. I heard that the tourist trap DVD is horrible. So, I'm really not completely educated with that, so let me know, but 
it's cool that they have him on the front and not Leatherface. I thought that was pretty y- unique that they didn't have Leatherface as a selling point. They had Dennis Hopper as a selling point. Um, I'm glad to own this. Happy to own this. Um, she ended up giving me 18 bucks for both. So she took a couple bucks off. Then there was this other booth, which was actually at this antique mall that I go to that's near me. It's the same guy that runs a booth in the antique mall. He was at this place and he had the Anchor Bay DVD for Evil Dead. Um, I don't own the original on anything. And also this is just a really cool release that I've seen on um, online before. And I always thought it looked really cool. This is the first time I've ever seen it in the wild, which was really nice. I also found another one at the other store, which I'll get to soon. But yeah, this is a really cool release. I don't know how hard these are to get. I know some Anchor Bay stuff can be pretty pricey. But I thought that was cool too. Ladies of Evil Dead. This is like a whole um, booklet that is just full of little fun facts of the movie, pictures. You got the poster in there. Um, And I love the disc art. So yeah, this is a really cool release. He wanted five bucks for it. It's all the physical media that I got at the um, flea market. Now, I also got some collector's things. I got some pretty cool stuff that I've never even seen before. These two things um, were, again, pretty pricey, but they're so unique and so cool that I wanted to own them. And that is the Max Matchbox cars, the horror ones that they did. So I got a Freddy Krueger one where he's on the boiler maintenance van. And then I got the Jason one where he's on the camp counselor car. These were the only two that he had. And he did tell me that there is no package packaging for him. These were $10 each without packaging. Um, and this seller was pretty firm on his prices, which is fine. I understand. He also told me that there were, um, there's a Leatherface one. And I looked it up, and that one's pretty cool looking too, where he's on a car that just says Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But these are cool because they actually put, like, stuff from the movie on the on the cars. Like, this is a Camp Counselor car, and this is a boiler maintenance car. These are sick. I've never, I didn't know that these existed, and I just think they're really neat. You can't take them off of the car or anything, but they're like little Matchbox cars or Hot Wheels cars, but they got horror people on them. Um, yeah, from the same seller, I got this, this guy because he was, he only wanted 20 for him. I looked it up. This is about what this is going for. Um, and that is the action figure for Toxie from the Toxic Avenger. This came out in 2021. It's not a very sought after item. It's not very expensive online, but, um, it just caught my eye and I thought it was really cool and he came he comes with a little mop and I don't own anything Toxic Avenger and I like the original film I only really like the first and the third one the other sequels I don't really care for yeah I don't like part two um, but yeah this is just really cool it's from um, MC so yeah that's that's the company that made this that put this out And then, I think it's because he kind of felt bad that he didn't cut me a deal. He gave me these for free. This was the same seller that gave me the, or didn't give me it. So, he gave me these Legos. You got Pinhead. And he's got the, he's got the box. These are cool. I don't think they're real Lego. I think they're custom or whatever. However you, however you say it. Or whatever it's called. You got Leatherface. With the chainsaw. So yeah, that was nice of him. He just gave these to me. He was like, here, you want these? I was like, yeah, sure. So this was the last thing I got from this guy. He wanted 10 for this, but he gave me a deal. And that's the other guy from They Live. I wasn't going to get the, the, the John Nada. I wasn't going to get him because I already have the alien. But... It's still cool. I mean, he's cool looking. Look at him. He's got the shades. He's got the shotgun. Still pretty cool. Five five bucks, dude. For, for him. 
and he's a really cool one. So that was everything from from this place. I'm holding this up in case you guys want to check them out. They do this every year where, where I'm at in my area. And this was my first time going. So it was really cool. Now this is all from the buy sell trade place that I was talking about. They had this deal. It was buy three, get six free. So I had to do the deal. First one I got was one I was talking about earlier. And that is the Anchor Bay DVD for Evil Dead 2. They had this here. And again, I don't own Evil Dead 2, and it, you know, I like these old Anchor Bay. I like how they look. I don't, again, I don't know how good the quality is. I've heard about Anchor Bay. Um, but yeah, I mean, this was three nine three thirty three. It was their normal DVD price, which I was surprised because, again, I don't know how much these are worth, but I was still kind of surprised. Um, but yeah, again, cool art. That's, that's such unique art. Um, so yeah, really gl glad to own this with Evil Dead. Um, so those are both really cool finds. Next one I got is a, is a favorite of mine. I really love this movie. It's one of my favorite, like, thrillers of all time. And that is Prisoners. Jake Gyllenhaal, Hugh Jackman. This is very reminiscent of something like Zodiac. Um, which I love as well, but I like this way more than Zodiac. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Like, it's just as simple as that. Not even thrillers, just movies in general. I love this movie. Um, I highly recommend it. It's about this guy whose son gets kidnapped. He's a detective. Um, and it spirals off into this really wacky, sad story. Um, I highly recommend it. It's a great movie. Now, the last physical media is one franchise i was looking through what they had for like you know like the the six movies or i guess seven the one that i still needed and then the six free ones and i saw that they had this entire franchise and i didn't own any of them so i thought why not and i was gonna buy them all on blu-ray because a blu-ray set just came out recently but these were all pretty cool they all had the slip covers um, besides one of them. And, of course, I'm talking about the Saw franchise. Not my favorite franchise, but there's some that I like more than others, for sure. This is a good This is a good one, the first one. It's not my favorite by, by any means, but I always like the Saw slipcovers. Um, where the discs look like Saws. Very cool. Um, so there's Saw 1. I tried to make sure to get the ones that had slipcovers. There's one where I only found one copy of it and it didn't have a slipcover, but we'll get to that. Saw 2, which I, I'm not huge on. I think it's all right. I know a lot of people like this one. Um, this slipcover is way cooler. You got the two fingers. Um, yeah, it's way cooler, really. And then you also got the jigsaw on the disc this time. Um, there's one trap in here that is one of the gnarliest ones. The needle trap. The needle trap I love. I will say that, but. There's Saw 2. My, probably the one I think is the best. Not my favorite, but probably my second favorite. Um, Saw 3. Again, I love Saw 3. I actually really like Saw 3. It's just a good movie. One of the very few movies in this franchise that I can say is good. But I think the story gets polished on a lot more. I did a Saw ranking a while back if you want to check that out. This little cover is cool too. You got the three teeth. And it says, Suffering? You haven't seen anything yet. Um, really cool. And then you got the Saw blade in here that is... Oh, it's John Kramer. I couldn't tell what, what that was at first. It's his face. And then you got um, Saw 4. This is 4, right? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Saw 4. This is probably my favorite looking DVD out of all of them. I love the red disc. And the art is okay. It's kind of corny. You got John Kramer and the little thing. Um, 
This isn't my favorite, but I think it's really underrated. I really like Soft War. This is where you get Officer Rig. He's a great lead. The whole detective thing, I really liked. The, um, this great kills in here. I like Soft War a lot. I think it's the most underrated for sure. Is that just clean? The, the red saw? And it looks great with the slip. Saw 4. Of course, next up is Saw 5. My least favorite. Tied with Jigsaw. Or not Jigsaw. Um, Spiral. I hate Spiral. I also hate this one. This is such a boring snooze fest. And the story is all over the place. It's just a mess. I really don't like Saw 5. Um, and then the disc is even boring. It's like the water water from like the the water tank scene Ugh, boring but i had to own it if i'm gonna get all of them i needed that one saw six this might be my favorite dvd and this is one of my favorites in the franchise too saw six is again another kind of underrated one for sure um this one's just a lot of fun they don't focus on this on the lore a whole lot they really drive its attention toward the um, the victims and the traps, and it really does pay off. I like Saw 6 a lot. Um, there's the carnival, or Ferris wheel, whatever the hell it's called. Take the slip cover off. And then you got, it's just like a bloody saw blade. Really like Saw 6. Probably my third favorite. My first favorite is Saw X, the new one. That's my favorite by far. But I don't own that. Last physical media, last um, collection thing of my knowledge. We have Saw the Final Chapter, aka Saw 3D, aka Saw 7. Um, this was the one that had no slipcover. It was the only one that they had. I had to look. It wasn't even in the with the S's. It was unorganized. It was thrown with like the T's or something, and I just happened to see it. Um... This is a cool disc, too. It's like a translucent red. But, yeah. Um, don't have Jigsaw. Don't have Spiral. And I don't have X. So, I still need three more. I didn't even look for Jigsaw. Because I, I only really looked in the S's. I didn't look in the J's. I, they probably have it. Not huge on Jigsaw. One of the worst final acts. Probably the worst final act in the whole franchise. Um, that has fun moments, though, but... Final chapter, I'm not a huge fan of. It has really, really, really good traps. But the story and acting is downright horrible. Um, somehow they made the acting even worse than what it was in the other in the other installments. Um, so that was this that was the other collection video. Um, I thought this would be a cool little one to spice it up. I went to that little flea market thing. Um, I had a lot of fun. There was a lot of cool stuff there other than what I bought. There was a lot of cool like retro toys from like the 70s and 60s. There was a lot of cool stuff there. Um, a lot of original um, poster prints as well. They had a Jason Lives one signed by the guy that plays Jason in that movie. I Forgive me, I forgot his name. They wanted 200 for it. That's too much for me, just saying. But there was a lot of other original prints too. They had an original Abyss poster. They had some original James Bond posters. There was some cool stuff there. A lot of cool booths. There was two floors. It was in like a hotel. There was one floor and then there was a second floor. I wish I took pictures, but I didn't. Um, there was a booth where this guy just had NECAs um, galore. And he was bringing some good deals on them. But I almost got the Slumber Party Massacre NECA. Because I've never seen that one before. And the girl at the booth actually told me that that was exclusive um, on Screen Factory's website. So that's probably why I've never seen that one. They also had a cool Texas Chainsaw 3 Leatherface action figure. Which I thought was really cool. A bunch of cool shit there. I like going to places like this. A lot of cool horror stuff. Which is what I was hoping for. I kind of expected it to just be like Star Wars toys or like old Batman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys, which are cool to look at, but it's not stuff I collect. Um, obviously, I'm into collecting horror. They had a bunch of horror stuff there, so that's really good. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this was a fun video. Please subscribe if you're new and follow my Instagram at IanLives underscore and follow my letterbox that we hate Ian. 
And I really do love you guys. Um, have a good one.